Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to subtract three-digit numbers using expanded form. These problems will be without regrouping or borrowing. Now, using expanded form is going to help us improve our understanding of subtraction, place value, and our overall understanding of numbers. Let's jump into number one, where we have 593 minus 421. And the first thing that we need to do is put these numbers into expanded form. And remember, expanded form, we expand the number to show the value of each digit. Let's start with 593. Now for number one, I already put these into expanded form, but let's review here. So 593 equals, well, we have a five in the hundreds place. So that represents five hundreds and has a value of 500. We have a nine in the tens. That represents nine tens and has a value of 90. The three is in the ones place. It represents three ones and has a value of three. As far as 421, well, 421 equals the four is in the hundreds place, so it has a value of 400. The two is in the tens place, so it has a value of 20. And then the one is in the ones place and has a value of one. Now that we have those in expanded form, we can subtract. Now when we subtract whole numbers, we always start with the ones place. So we have three ones minus one one. That gives us a two in the ones. We bring our addition sign straight down. Now you may be wondering why we have addition signs throughout a subtraction problem. Well, those addition signs are part of the expanded form. We are still subtracting as we go throughout the problem, so don't let the addition signs fool you. At first, our answer is going to be in expanded form, and then we'll change it to standard form. So let's continue subtracting and move to the tens place. So we have 90 minus 20. That's going to give us 70. Bring our next addition sign down, and then subtract the hundreds. So we have 500 minus 400. That's going to give us 100. And that's our answer in expanded form, 100 plus 70 plus two. So let's change that to standard form. So just writing the number uh, like we usually write numbers. So we should have a one in the hundreds place, a seven in the tens, and then a two in the ones. So 100, 72. And that's our final answer. Let's solve this to the left as well to see if we get the same answer. Start with the ones. So we have three ones minus one one. That was represented right here. Three minus one gives us two. Let's move to the tens where we have nine tens minus two tens. That was represented right here. So nine minus two gives us a seven in the tens place. And then lastly, the hundreds. So five hundreds minus four hundreds. That was represented right here as far as the values of those digits. So five minus four gives us one. And we get 172 over there as well. Let's try another one and move on to number two. So we have 768 minus 223. First thing that we need to do, put these numbers into expanded form. So show the value of each digit. We'll start with the seven, which is in the hundreds place and has a value of 700. Plus the six is in the tens, so it has a value of 60. Plus the eight in the ones has a value of eight minus, let's do 223. So the two in the hundreds has a value of 200. The two in the tens has a value of 20. And then the three in the ones has a value of three. 
So once we have both numbers in expanded form, we can subtract. Start with the ones. So 8 minus 3 gives us a 5 in the ones. Bring our addition sign down and then move to the tens. So 60 minus 20. That gives us 40. Bring the next addition sign down and we end with the hundreds. So 700 minus 200, that gives us 500. So that's our final answer in expanded form. Let's change it to standard form. So we need a five in the hundreds, a four in the tens, and a five in the ones. So 500, 45. Let's solve it to the left as well. Start with the ones. So eight minus three. That was represented right here, the values of those digits. And we get a five in the ones place. Move to the tens. So six tens minus two tens. Those values are represented right here. So six minus two gives us a four in the tens. And then lastly, the hundreds. So seven hundreds minus two hundreds. Those values are right here. Seven minus two gives us a five in the hundreds place. So we get the same answer over there as well. So there you have it. There's how you subtract three digit numbers using expanded form. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.